So you opened the gate. Didn't they teach you to close the door behind you? You must be mighty indeed, and foolish too. Foolish. Ha! Perhaps one comes with the other, like you come to me. But a door is made for people to pass through, no? What did you do in that hostile whiteness? Their bones are still outside, and in here there is only blackness. And... and dust. Dust and bones, black and white. It has been long since I heard from the great halls, but if you are determined to go down, Durin and Valin you should seek. Ah, the forge. With iron and stone we built many great things, inside and outside. Not all have stood the test of time, though it was not time that destroyed them. <laughs> My kin rest below, but far below they are restless, very much so, just as they had been when they wanted to find Asgard. Yes, I am Dvergen. What do I look like? One of the few living here, not in exile. And yet, in exile. Several exiles. Several doors closed. The gate should have stayed closed, if you ask me. The bridge should not have been built. If you do find Asgard, refresh yourself in one of those fountains that we built.
Let your sword rest, trespasser. We are only smiths, and our craft is forgery, not mealy. The ones you slew were our hosts and captors. Their deaths will be mourned, but they won't be missed. I am Dvalin, and this is my brother Durin. We are the firstborn of Ymir. We have tended this forge for a very long time, and shall continue to do so beyond the renewal of the world. It is hard, but rewarding labor. So behold the great world you hold. Not many humans have seen it, but why are you here? 
<laughs> the passage to the fifth realm. Long has it been since any verger stood at the topmost eaves of reality. The path you speak of has been closed for a long time, but we remember the way still. Hmm. There is one thing, however. <clears throat> Although the demise of our self-proclaimed guardians, Ostri and Na, pleases us, their defeat leaves us at the mercy of the Fungoids, a savage and terrible race that inhabit the natural caves beneath these mountains. Eradicate them, and we will show you the old path that winds through Midgard. If you can't even deal with the Fungoids, you won't survive what lies inside the mountain. See it as a test for your own safety. If you can't even deal with the fungoids, you won't survive what lies inside the mountain. You come from across many seas on a fool's errand. But you've caught us at a bad time, I'm afraid, as it's the twilight of our race. Well, there's no time like the present. What do you want, trespasser? The Hammer of Donar? The Ring of Wodan? We forged them both, among other things. Yet those are mere trinkets compared to the most beautiful piece of craftsmanship we ever created. You see, for Freya, we created the necklace Brisengamin, fairer than any other jewel and with rubies that shine brighter than the sun. What a masterpiece! And the price was worth all the work. <laughs> we toil in darkness with many works unseen by the sun. But there is time. Verger gold will survive this mountain. We kept ourselves isolated. But in the end, the pressure of the mountain proved too much for the shoulders of our brethren. As vices reign over our halls, the Dvergas slip into darkness. Except Dury and Dvail, who are older and stronger than most. There shall be no strife in the Master Forge chamber.
you return, and they are dead? Good. Well, let's not waste any more of your time. The path already lies open, and it's up to you whether you follow it or not. Move with caution, trespasser. That part of the mountain was abandoned for a reason. You should be in Asgard by nightfall if you maintain a good pace, not that the sun ever sets there. I have watched the mountain turn earth into diamonds, but you, it will only turn into dust if you stay too long. Trespasser, I can't help but notice the poor quality of your equipment. You call this an epic item. If you wish it, my brother and I can help. For a small favor, of course. Now, you're going to Asgard. You can bring us something that has been denied to us for a long time. The fine mead of the Einherjar from the other of Hydrun. I see you've had no mead yet. Get us a skin of that and we can talk. Stranger, do you see? These two tablets fit together to form something like a headstone with an inscription. Let me see. The war of the Kinslayers, the sons of Hamar, covet the treasure. The curse kills its owner. Tall outsiders meddled. And Avari's great treasure was taken from him. The king received it. The greatest of treasures and Avari's work, a ring, created a river of gold, Fafnir's prize. Something or someone was transformed. Durin and Valen sealed off the evil, both brothers and the restless dead, in case they return. The brothers? This part is hard to read, I am afraid. Regan is probably a name, and this here could be Loki. It will take more time to figure out the exact meaning of these inscriptions, but thank you for bringing me this. How could you side with my brother? Ah, He's... my friend! Look at all the weapons I can offer here now, thanks to you! Ah, 